What is going on guys, Mr. Pathfinder bring you another video. Now today it is a player review on Fernando Torres, the Spanish striker who plays for Atletico Madrid in La Liga. Now, he has 78 pace, 78 shooting, 78 dribbling, so a nice little triple stat. Uh, he is right footed, has 4 star uh, weak foot, 3 star skill moves, medium medium work rates and he is 6 foot 1. Now this Torres is a bit of a is a bit of a far cry from his FIFA 10 card, which was an 89 rated card and a very good one at that. But uh, that's in the past. This is the future. This is Torres's card now, and I think he's one of the most underrated strikers in La Liga. Anyway, I've put him into this team. You might recognise it from the Ramos review, which I did yesterday. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same team. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the clips. And there we go. So at the moment, Torres is going for 650 to 10,000 coins on both the Xbox and PlayStation markets at the moment. Um, currently, he's going for only 900 coins. So if you're looking to save some coins from Team of the Year and get a cheap, decent striker, Torres is your man. Now, the pros of Fernando Torres. His shooting is actually 78 shooting. I think it's underrated. I think it's more like 83, 84 shooting around there. Um, yeah, but he's shooting back post, near post, long range, short range. It's very, very decent. Um, next is his vision. Now, I wouldn't say this for most strikers, but his vision is actually probably one of the best I've seen on a striker. He just knows how to find a pass and is probably only second to Mesut Ozil. Yeah, I'm joking. He's not probably only second to Mesut Ozil, but his vision was that good when I used him. Um, now, next is his chance creation. Now, what I mean by chance creation is that he somehow manages to get himself into positions where he can uh, create a chance or finish a chance. Um, pretty much, he can drop down into midfield, hence the medium-medium work rates, and stay up front as a striker. Um, while the medium-medium is a bit irritating because he's a striker, I still think it's quite good because he can uh, just find where people are all the time, and that's something that I haven't seen on a lot of strikers, which is very, very interesting. Um, also, his passing. Hey, before I go into passing, there's that long shot I was telling you about earlier. Um, that was to get me back into this game, which you're seeing in front of you. And I really needed that goal because I was struggling against the guy I was playing. And just to score that was absolutely phenomenal. The guy just backed off, backed off, backed off. I was like, alright, might as well have a crack. And went in. Um, yeah, but anyway, get, getting back on. His passing, his wider range of passing is very, very good. Like, one twos he had between... Uh, Amrabat, my other striker, and Koke, my cam, were very, very decent. Um, I know I haven't put it on here, but I, it's kind of a last minute one. Positioning. His positioning was very, very useful. Um, he came into positions where I needed him, and I found him with ease. He was a good runner um, when, it, when you needed a ball to be played through, so that was also quite good. Um, but yeah, very, very nice player to be on the ball. Um, next is his, uh, now his cons. Now, stamina is one I've used a lot, but we, I think it's cause on this FIFA, after a certain patch, I think it was like the second or third patch maybe, um, the stamina on players seems to go down more uh, than it used to, which is kind of good because that means you gotta manage your player's fitness and how fast they run throughout a game. Next is his ball control. This is a little irritating. Now, what I mean by ball control is like when he gets a, a driven pass, driven firmly at him, it kind of bounces off him and goes away. What I mean by that is that it bounces off and goes away to someone else, which is really an irritating fact. Um, so yeah, the ball control is not good. Finally, the last uh, con is his pace. 78 pace on a striker. I don't think I'd use 78 pace on a striker. It just doesn't really feel nice on a striker. I prefer maybe 83, 84, but nevertheless, it was probably one of my favorite strikers to use on this game. I said, I've got a lot of favorite strikers in La Liga, Benzema and now Torres. Um, I'm about to as well, but I'll probably do a separate video on him, but uh, this one's all about Torres, yeah. But in the three games I played with him, he scored six goals and two assists. But anyway, that brings me on to this screen. I'd give him an overall rating 8 out of 10. He loses 2 because he doesn't have a lot of pace. And the second one, he just didn't really feel good on the ball when I used him. But if you use the ball roll, that skill move is very, very useful. Value for money, easily a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, 
900 coins for a striker who scored me six goals in three games and two assists that's very very useful so if you want to save coins before team of the year i definitely definitely go for fernando torres i mean i know he gets trolled a lot because he missed that sitter against vidic uh, way back when but nevertheless that brings me back to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed um please like and subscribe and i'll see you with another video very soon see ya